Hi, welcome everyone to this December 13th, 2022 business meeting of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District. Can everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? Correspondence, but <coughs> excuse me, I understand there is no correspondence. Um, let's move on to the superintendent's report, Dr. Yanni. Thank you, Ms. Kowalski, and good evening, everybody. Uh, congratulations. I want to start by congratulating all the athletes. I know that uh, uh, we have uh, Legislator Lafazan and uh, Mr. Bramoff over here in a few minutes uh, giving a recognition to all our athletes, but I want to say to all of you, I am so proud of all the work that you do on and off the field. It's the best part of my day to come and watch you play, compete, and um, we are so excited about tonight. I know you did a lot of work during the full season. Um, on December 16th, our uh, high school chamber singers um, went to Manhattan uh, for an experience that I think it will be a lifetime. It will be a lifetime for me because it was the first time I, w I went to see the Rockettes. So I'm not sure if I go again, but if I go again, I will always think of you. And you did a great job. I know that uh, they had dinner at a famous diner. They wrote it down for me. It was called uh, the Stardust Diner. I'm gonna stop there, I and I, I didn't go. But uh, the choir uh, did a, a great job. Uh, it was the opening show. Um, we are so proud, it was impressive. So. Um, we couldn't be any more proud of the work that you have done, and I want to thank publicly Ms. G. Yopak for organizing this and for uh, Mr. Christopher Flood for organizing and practicing with the students. So great job. <laughs> this is also the favorite part of uh, the year because of all the concerts. I know we had the middle-level concerts with uh, Mr. Janetta and the entire team. Uh, last Thursday, and uh, Mr. Sizia with the old jazz band and the symphonic band. And I have to tell you, I've been listening to concerts for many, many years, but my favorite one was the video game uh, tune that they, they play. There were a lot of, uh, it was new and it was uh, so much fun. So congratulations. I know we have more concerts coming up this week, so looking forward to that. We have a lot of uh, exciting things happening at the, uh, just to, to give you a little bit of a, a Board of Education goal update. So we have a lot of exciting things happening in computer science and technology. I know that Ms. Gibbons is gonna give an update uh, later in the year, but I just wanna give a quick preview. Uh, this past week, we celebrated Computer Science Education Week, and we're very excited to see our students coding across the district from kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. Um, our three to six graders were able to code robots, explore virtual reality, build roller coasters, and experience science, science reaction at Vernon STEM night. Our K to six students uh, are also learning digital safety and citizenship while exploring computer science, coding, and digital fluency. We also in the process of, and I think that as a parent, this would be a great thing because once my kid went to uh, high school, I never heard anything. It was like nothing happened. So this is a very exciting as a parent. We are in the process of setting up what is called Parent Square and Student Square communication apps for families and students. These apps will allow more seamless communication between teachers, parents, administrators, families, and students. Parents will be able to get real-time updates, sorry guys, and uh, <laughs> teachers will be able to communicate and just keep our parents involved and abreast of what's going on. This platform will allow the students to select the best methods of receiving information, so we're very excited about that and uh, truly look forward to that. At this time, uh, I thought I was gonna be able to wish you a happy holiday, but uh, Mr. Dolan and uh, the entire team and some of our students at Vernon, and uh, I know that Tavecchio was very helpful. 
Uh, we created a little video that we're gonna send to everybody, so instead of me telling you a couple things, why don't we play the video? Dear Oyster Bay, East Norwich community, family and friends, uh, we want to be here together to wish you a happy holiday and a wonderful new year. This is the holiday season. This is the time to reflect on all the great work that our students are doing every day, this work that the staff is doing, the administrative team is doing, and we are so proud of what they do every single day to make this the best school, the best district. I have a sign in my office that reads something that is so true, and it says, uh, in life, you have to enjoy the little things because one day you realize that they were the big things. And so during this holiday season, I ask you to reflect on the great community that we have, the great students that we have. I am so proud, we are so proud, and I am so honored to be to serving you as your superintendent of schools. But I have a message we have rehearsed for a long time about this, so are you guys ready? Yeah. 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 So, from, from East Norwich and Oyster Bay, Bay, happy holiday! Great job, happy holiday. Mr. Bramoff, it's gonna be tough to follow me after my video, <laughs> so we better do a good job. Mr. Bramoff. Good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome, thank you to the Board of Education and Dr. Yanni for allowing me to present our fall athletes and recognize them this evening. Technology is great when it works, I, I apologize. Tonight we're gonna recognize three different achievements. We're gonna recognize our fall championships, uh, as well as our fall scholar athlete teams, and then we will have our Nassau County Individual Student Athlete Awards. And now for our fall championships. Up first is our league champion undefeated girls field hockey team. followed by our conference champion, girls tennis team. And for the second year in a row, our girls volleyball team won the Nassau County Class C Championship. Back to back for the Lady Bayman. In addition to winning the Nassau County Class C Volleyball Championship, our girls volleyball team also had the highest GPA for the fall season with a 96.5. Our fourth championship was won by our boys cross country team. The boys cross country team this year qualified for the state championship after their, winning, their win in the Nassau County Championship. They can't be here tonight because they are at a winter track meet. They'll be recognized at a later board, board meeting, but uh, we should still recognize their tremendous achievement. <laughs> now for the good stuff, all right? If that was good, this is great. Our full scholar athlete teams, when a team achieves a GPA of 90 or above, they are designated as a scholar athlete team. For the fall of 2021, we achieved this with six of our eight teams. I'm extremely proud to say in the fall of 2022, we got seven of our eight teams with the addition of the football team with a 91. 
I I don't want to overlook I do I don't want to overlook the student and student athlete. I I really want to thank the families, the administrators, the staff, the teachers for uh, you know this is a collective effort that and this is an achievement that our whole school community uh, is involved in. Now, for our Nassau County Fall Postseason Individual Awards. But before I present the awards, uh, I'd like to introduce a very special guest. Uh, I met him last year. Uh, he's very supportive of the Oyster Bay School District, and that would be Nassau County Legislator Josh Laffison. <laughs> Yanni said he's going to put me in the sequel of the video. Uh, good evening, everyone. A number of familiar faces, but for those who I'm meeting for the first time, uh, my name is Josh Lafazan. I have the privilege of serving this community as Nassau County Legislator, working with this incredible Board of Education and with this administration uh, to serve our mutual constituents and to serve our kids. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I had a dream of being a professional basketball player, uh, and then I grew to 5'9", and I stopped growing, um, which led to an uncomfortable conversation with mom and dad that I'd have to find a different career path. But I was always fascinated, and to this day, I'm fascinated and really intrigued by sports. Uh, because if you look across not only the country, but across the world, leaders in every single industry you can name, right, science, academia, technology, so many of them are former athletes. And I think it's because the phrase is true that sports not only builds better athletes, but it builds better people. And we see that from the team GPAs, we see that from you guys being leaders in the community. So thank you for being the very best among us, not only in this student body, but in this district. And it's my honor as legislator to honor all of you tonight. Thank you. All right, now for our student athletes. Up first, Jose Garcia Cardoza, four-year starter at right back, senior game all-star, and all-county. <laughs> Up second on our boys soccer team, Mr. Jake Nola, all-conference. In addition to Jake being named all-conference, he was named Scholar Athlete for having the highest average on the team. For our next athlete, I'm gonna to have to ask Dr. Yanni for a little help. Um, introducing our next athlete. Leonardo Cecere. <laughs> Leo, Leo is a vocal leader to say the least on our soccer team. He was named all-conference as a goalie, and he did a tremendous job for us in the net. So congratulations to our boys' soccer team. <laughs> Moving next, we're going to go into football. Joseph Gotti was named all-conference for his tough running style at fullback and an anchor on the D-line. Once again, Joe Gotti, all-conference football. Joining Joe, senior Alex Zavala was named to the exceptional senior game. Come on up, Alex. He was invited to participate in the exceptional senior game for his exceptional play on both sides of the ball. I would also like to add a congratulations to Alex at the Nassau County's Association track meet this past weekend. He jumped six foot and got first place. Up next will be field hockey, and I think we're going to get treated to see our new basketball uniforms, if I'm correct. Um, all County exceptional senior, Hazel Maldonado. <laughs> Hazel played in the exceptional senior game. She's a leader on and off the field, and she is literally all over the field hockey field, from one end line to the other. Congratulations, Hazel. Up next for field hockey, Nancy Abode. 
Nancy is the anchor of our field hockey defense, and she received all-county honorable mention. I can't wait to have her back on the field next year. Up next, Sierra Barefoot, all-conference. In addition to the all-conference, Sierra received the Scholar Athlete Award for getting the highest GPA on the field hockey team, and she is rocking our new basketball uniforms, as was Hazel. Up next, Marin Crabtree. Did I say it right? I'm sorry. She was named captain, a leader on and off the field, and she earned an all-conference honors. Congratulations. <laughs> Up next is Scarlett Shelley, All League. <laughs> Despite her tough play in the midfield, she always did it with a smile, laughing the whole way to an All League designation. Our Unsung Hero Award goes to Gwyneth Davey. <laughs> Gwyneth is an extremely hard worker, always ready to be the best teammate that she can be, and she is very deserving of this award. Our Unsung Hero. <laughs> Moving into our girls' soccer team, Miss Lily Woodstock, All-County Honorable Mention. Lily was the anchor of the Lady Bayman defense, a tough presence in the back, and congratulations on being named All-County Honorable Mention. <laughs> Gabby Torres, All-County Honorable Mention. <laughs> Coach, Coach Roberts describes, describes Gabby as the glue in our midfield, keeping all the teammates in the correct position. Uh, congratulations on your all-county honorable mention, Gabby. <laughs> Up next, Chiara Retigliano. <laughs> all-conference girls soccer. Chiara was the engine that drove the team with an extremely high work rate. Once again, congratulations on being named all-conference. On to girls tennis. Miss Catherine Webster, all conference. She earned her all conference selection for her hard hits and her sky ball and always displaying wonderful sportsmanship. Girls tennis, Anna Pace, all conference. Tremendous player on and off the court, described as a wonderful teammate by her peers and selected as an all-conference tennis player. <laughs> Girls tennis, all-conference. Mariana Panarello. In addition to be naming all conference, Mariana is consistently supporting and promoting the girls tennis program. Her teammates absolutely love her as she is such a big fan for everybody to achieve. Once again, Mariana, all conference. <laughs> Julie Duke, USTA Sportsmanship Award. Julie is a tremendous competitor. She shows a lot of grit out there. Very often she's too nice. Even when the ball is out, she lets her opponent call it out. Um, she always displays sportsmanship even when she's beating me in badminton. <laughs> and now for our county champion volleyball team. Miss Catherine Jeanette, all county. In addition to being all-county, 
Last night at the Nassau County Coaches Association Banquet, Catherine was named Tournament MVP and Third Team All-State. Up next, Nicole Gaddy. Nicole is a dominant force on the volleyball court. She is going to be a major force to be reckoned with in Class C volleyball for many years to come as she is only an eighth grader. And finally, Olivia Milana, scholar athlete. She's a int highly intelligent player, uh, both on and her excellence in the classroom has earned her the highest GPA on the girls volleyball team. I'd like to thank everybody for allowing me to present tonight. Uh, I just want to send a shout out to our cheerleading squad who just recently received a bid to go to the Nationals down in Orlando, Florida. Go Lady Bayman and let's take some pictures. Yeah, we can go through stuff. Okay, why don't we move on now to our business facilities report. Um, Deputy Superintendent Maureen Rayner, can you start the public hearing, please? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, so this is a public hearing this evening. We are going to be con discussing the real property tax exemptions for senior citizens and persons with disabilities. The proposed resolutions you see on tonight's agenda were posted, were posted on board docs. New York State Real Property Tax Law provides a tax exemption for senior citizens and a tax exemption for persons with disabilities. These exemptions are subject to annual income maxims. Prior to July 2022, the income maximum for each of these exemptions was $37,399, and exemptions were provided on a sliding scale based on the income. Effective July 1, New York State has passed legislation that increased the new income maximum for both senior citizens and persons with disabilities to $58,399, also on a sliding scale based on income. For example, this new state law allows homeowners who earn up to $50,000 to have a 50% of their assessed valuation exempt from taxation. As the income increases, the exemption decreases. Homeowners that have the maximum income range earning between $50,000 57,500 and the maximum of 58,399 <coughs> would have a 5% of their assessed valuation exempt from taxation. This would be in effect for j the 23 calendar year. Is there any public comments or Board of Education comments or questions? Any questions? No? No? Great, thank, thank you. you. Well, that concludes the public hearing. Thank you, Ms. Rayner. 
Okay, let's move on to the approval of minutes. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes as listed and attached below? So, so moved. moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Let's move on to the appointment of officers. Resolved, the Board of Education hereby accepts the resignation of Darlene Dolan as District Clerk, Clerk of the Board of Education effective December 2nd, 2022. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Um, let's move on to appointment of officers. Resolved, the Board of Education hereby appoints Rita Bizarro as the District Clerk of the Board of Education effective December 13th, 2022. Um, do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Welcome, Ms. Bizarro. Um, yes, so can the Minister of the Oath of Office now? Yes, thanks. Thank you. Uh, now we're moving on to the public participation on agenda items. In accordance with the open meetings law, school board meetings where school district business will be dis discussed are open to the public. The Oyster Bay East North school Board of Education welcomes public comment at its meetings. The Board of Education will respond to comments and or inquiries in the appropriate manner. This portion of the meeting is designated exclusively for agenda items. A sign-in book is provided for those residents wishing to address the board. In order to be recognized, you must be signed in. Each speaker will be allowed a maximum of three minutes. The board president will call you to the microphone in the order in which you have signed in. Public discussion is prohibited regarding matters related to an individual's reputation, privacy, or right of due process, which in some way could be violated. A second commentary period is provided for non-agenda items prior to adjournment. We thank you for your participation and cooperation. Do we have anybody who signed in? Oh, Rob Br Brusker, can you come to the microphone? Good evening, everyone. I'm not sure if it was the agenda item, but I figured I'd get in now quickly. Um, I just want to congratulate you all on finishing up the turf field. Um, I watched nearly every day of it, uh, every aspect of it, and uh, it turns out, uh, obviously, as you see it, really fantastic. And we, I appreciate it. I, I don't speak for anyone other than myself, but I think the community is very happy with it. Uh, personally, I do thank Dr. Yanni and uh, Deputy Superintendent Rayner for their patience and willingness to, pro to provide for my input and the input of the people in the area. It's, uh, it's invaluable. And this will probably sound a little bit arrogant. It doesn't, I, I don't mean it that way. That uh, I'm impressed and I'm happy, I'm not surprised really, that in addition to accounting for your core constituents of the students here and the staff uh, and the, the, the parents of those children, that you're actually taking into account the greater community at large, which is also your constituency. And we really, I, for a little bit more than me, I, I think I can speak to those folks, uh, including the, the great board members you have here that make up the community, and we appreciate it. And it's, uh, it's, it's just uh, uh, a generous outreach on your part. Uh, I was standing at the backfield with uh, uh, Deputy Superintendent Rayner and, and, and Dr. Yanni a few times in the summer, sweating it out. It's the first time I saw him outside of a suit, I think. But uh, uh, trying to contemplate uh, landscaping that uh, that was the furthest thing from anyone's mind at that point, uh, and then following up again and again, and uh, it's just worthy of, uh, of appreciation to those two folks and to your entire staff. Uh, so thank you again, and wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. Um, Darren, I hope your knee's all right. <laughs> um, and 
One other thing off, off the mark, and, and perhaps someone can get back to me. I just had my 40th Oyster Bay High School reunion uh, back in uh, October, and I think Todd's coming up real fast, and then Michael's coming up real fast after that. Uh, but we have some funds left over that the, the class would like to donate, purchase a uh, bench. I saw a couple of the benches around. They're, they're fantastic. And ideally, I don't know if you're putting anything back up at the, at the new field. Probably don't want to do that, but uh, we would welcome uh, turning over those funds for purchase to the school or however that works, or to the front of the school. That would be great. Uh, so again, not a pressing matter. Uh, my class has entrusted me with the extra money. Uh, I don't want to push it too, too much longer, though. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year. Thank you again. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Rob. Thank you. You know, I just have to say that um, I've worked on a lot of bond proposals in this district, and watching Dr. Yanni and Ms. Rayner up at the field, it, treating it like it was their own house getting constructed, and looking at every single detail, changing things if they didn't like it, we were really impressed. And I think that's the reason why the field turned out so well. So I want to thank you both. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the um, approval of instructional personnel items. Resolved upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District hereby approves the instructional personnel items as listed in their entirety. Do I have a motion? So Any moved. Second. 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 Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Let's move on to non-instructional personnel items. That's uh, number 10. Resolved upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District hereby approves the non-instructional personnel items as listed in their entirety. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All Aye. opposed? Motion carries. Let's move on to business items. Resolved upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District hereby approves the business items as listed in their entirety. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Special services. Resolved upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District hereby approves the special services resolution as listed in their entirety. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Approval of new business resolutions. Resolved upon the recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education of the Oyster Bay East Norwich Central School District hereby approves the new business resolutions as listed in their entirety. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Now we're moving to the public participation on non-agenda items. Nobody signed in? No. Okay. Okay. That's the that's the end of the meeting. I uh, have a motion to adjourn the meeting. So moved. Second. Second. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night. Happy Good evening, holidays. everybody. Happy holidays. <laughs>